Okay, welcome to that lecture online and here I wanted to show you an example of how you add two waves together uh, that are moving in the same direction at the same velocity with the same amplitude the same wavelength same frequency only difference is that one is shifted to the right by a half a pi that would be 90 degrees so how do we add these together well we need to remember that equation that says that y1 plus y2 under those circumstances is equal to twice the amplitude times the, and I guess we write the cosine first, times the cosine of phi over 2, so that would be half the phase shift of one wave compared to the next, uh, times the sine of, that would be I guess kx minus omega t uh, minus phi over 2. So it would mean that the maximum of that wave, of the combined wave, would occur at the halfway point between the two other phases. All right, so now that we know that, let's plug everything in that we know. So therefore, we can say that y1 plus y2 is equal to twice the amplitude, so two times five centimeters, times the sine of, oh, let's see, we wrote the cosine first, right? So better write the cosine, so times the cosine of half the phase shift. So if the phase shift is pi over 2, half of that would be pi over 4, so the cosine of pi over 4 times the sine of kx. So k was pi over 2 meters, so pi divided by 2 meters times x minus omega, in this case was 10 pi hertz, 10 pi hertz uh, times t, and that would be minus phi over 2 that would be minus pi over 4. All right, now we can combine this a little bit more because the cosine of pi over 4, that's 45 degrees, that's 0 0.707. That would be uh, 10 centimeters, so that would be equal to 7.07 .07 centimeters times the sine of pi over 2 meters times x minus 10 pi hertz times t minus pi over 4. And that would then be the final answer for the sum of the two waves. Again, the conditions are they're both traveling to the right, they're both traveling with the same velocity, they have the same amplitude, same wavelength, and same frequency. But shifted or difference by pi over 2, when you combine the two waves, that's the result. That's how you do that.